God bless you. And peace of God be unto you. Anyone hearing this message should know that only God is Son Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a worthy of your soul, no one else, except our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and his Father, the Most High God. They are worthy of your soul, no one else. The Word of God says, Make yourself available to be used as an instrument of peace. Be a peacemaker. Make your home a peaceful home. And the Word of God make it clear that you should love your neighbor as you love yourself. Keep loving. Never you hate, because hatred is not from God, but you should keep loving. So, the word of God said, never you apply you the law of discrimination is not from God, but keep loving everyone that come across you is so special. Seek the kingdom of God first, all of that will be added to you. The coming of Son of Man is at hand. Jesus is coming very soon. The word of God says, to Nicodemus, accept a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Being born again is so special in your life and life of everyone. So make sure that you are born again. I'm talking about for you to have a personal relationship with Christ, for you to surrender your life to the leadership of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and accept Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. I am talking about for you to repent from your sin and keep away from your wicked way. That is the more important thing you have to do. Jesus said to matter, why do you allow the things of the earth to trouble you? Why do you set your heart in the things of the earth or you allow it to give you sleep personal or trouble your brain that your sister may have chosen that that is important on earth which no one will take away from her? What is that that is important may they have chosen? May they have chosen the salvation of the living God which is him, visa to heaven. Without salvation of God, you cannot secure a place in the kingdom of God. Why can't you choose the same path may they have chosen? Why can't you take the same decision may they have taken is so important without the salvation you cannot secure place in the kingdom of God be a good Samaritan be your brothers and sisters keep out watch over them and make yourself available to be used as an instrument of peace in every life the word of God says Listen to those who want you to listen to them. The word of God says, help those who need your help and support those who need your support. Never you think of the words, but do it that the Lord will bless you. My message today, I'm talking about the message of my prayer says, don't think that you people cannot make it without you. Never you thought or think that people cannot make it without you. No, they can make it without you. Without you or with you, they will make it because you are a man mortal. You are not girl and you will never be girl. So how can you think, how can you oppose yourself, God, in the life of people? People can make it without you because if you think that you are special in the life of people or you are special in the company or you are special in the office or you are special in the life of the family, the word of God says you will never be special in the life of anyone. Only God and his son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, are special in the life of people, not you. Why? Because you are a man mortal, full of disappointment and failure. You know, you are a man mortal, full of life. So that is why you should not oppose yourself as a God in people's life. You should not think that people cannot make it without you. You should not think that people cannot make it without your support or without your contribution. No, they will make it without you, hundred percent. As long as God is with them, as long as God become their backbone, as long as God support them, as long as they do that, that please God, as long as God have chosen to be with them. So if God be with them and you are not with them, why should you think that they cannot make it without you? Why should you think that they cannot make it without you? Why should you think um, that they cannot continue life without you? As long as they're doing that, that pleasing God, that that is give God glory, that that glorified God, as long as they did not sin against God, as long as they did not sin against God, they did not sin against you, they don't do anything against you. But God is with them. So your thought and your plans is vanity, you know? Even if you are a native daughter, if you are a cottage man or woman, if you are a pastor, bishop, if you are a reverend father, evangelist, if you are a reverend sister or archbishop, anything or apostle, I want you to know that you are a man mortal. So never you think that people cannot make it or continue life without you. Never you think that people cannot live life without you. Never you think that people cannot march forward without you. Never you think that people's hand work or gift cannot march up without you. You are nobody and you can never be somebody in the sight of God. You are nobody. People that is somebody in the sight of God is people that respect God. 
people that respect the glory of God, people that walk according to the will of God. The word of God said, and I should tell you today, brothers and sisters all over the world who are opposing themselves as a girl, who thought that without them, without their support, without their contribution, that the people will not make it and they will not continue life. I want to tell you that God said that I should tell you today, whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not, they will continue their life and they will make it. Watch and see, brothers and sisters. Just keep watching. The people you left will make it. The people you abandoned will make it. The people you thought that we taught you, they will not see the light. They will not see the program. They will not be established. The word of God said that we established because you are not God. You are a main mortal, full of lie, full of failure, full of demon, full of satanic thought, evil thought. So why do you think that we taught you that people cannot match for what? Are you God? Are you the one that created them? Are you the one that fought them? Are you the one that keep them alive? Are you the one that give them the blood, the blood day and night? You are not. You are a main mortal like that. Allow God to establish those secrets. Allow God to show his light and power. Allow God to take his glory in every life. Allow God to magnify. Don't ever think that we touch you, we touch you or your contribution or your support, or we touch you that people will, will not make it in life, that they will not see the destiny, that they will not use what God impacted in them to glorify God, that they will not march forward, that they will not be exposed, that the name of Jesus will not be glorified in their life. You are a liar, come. Preach liar. The name of Jesus will glorify in the life of those he loves. The word of God says, I love Jacob and hate his soul. Because of the love of God in the life of Jacob, God never abandoned Jacob. God never turned back to him. He stand and make sure that his name glorified. If God can glorify his name in the life of Jacob, it means he will glorify his name in the life of those that he loves. So, why do you think? Yeah? Don't think that people cannot get through life without you, that they cannot make it without you. They will get through life, whether you are there or not. Without your money, they will make it. Without your brain, they will make it. Without your direction, they will make it. 